Now that it's fair to say, it's usually the uh, royal family's headgear which attracts attention at parades such as the Trooping the Colour. But this year, all eyes were on a young soldier from Leicester. And that is because, while his fellow Coldstream Guardsmen were wearing their bearskins, Charampeet Singh Lal was wearing a turban. It is the first time it's happened, and the 22-year-old says he is honoured to have made a little bit of history. Joe Healy reports. It caught the eye of Hugh Edwards. Look at this. It's a great sight, isn't it? It's a really big deal because no one's ever done it before. It is a big deal. A turban among the bearskins, among a thousand Coldstream guards, marking the Queen's birthday celebrations. Nothing like that had ever been done before, so it was good to see like some representation of like the Sikh community like that as well. I thought that was quite interesting. Yeah, I think it shows like more diversity, so it's more representative. Yeah, I thought it was like a really good change where I think British culture typically is quite uniform, especially with things like the army troops, the royal family, so it was nice to embrace something different. I think it's wonderful. I think, you know, that we're honouring these people as well, you know, and the part they took. It was a big part. Nearly 90,000 turban-wearing Sikhs lost their lives fighting alongside British soldiers in the two world wars. I'm glad that I get to be the start of this. And uh, from here, I hope that many other people from different backgrounds, different religions, see this and they want to join the army as well. What was your reaction when you saw that? I think it was a, a real proud moment to see a, a fellow Sikh, you know, the starred, um, being there amongst the soldiers, marching proudly in front of Her Majesty the Queen, amongst his colleagues as equal, but equally being proud of his dual British and Sikh identity. You didn't feel it was long overdue? No, I think these things take time. And he says it was worth the wait. Joe Healy, BBC, East Midlands Today.